Alright folks, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 2 with the Byzantine mod. Um, I did some minor changes. Uh, what I did is I gave the Byzantine uh, a new flag, in a way. Um, the top bar is still the same, which uh, I'm not going to change, really. But uh, I changed the flag a little bit. You guys probably would recognize this, the, uh, the main symbols of the Byzantine. I don't remember where they're considered. It happened, I know, after the reclamation after the uh, uh, the Empire of Nicaea uh, recaptured Constantinople and the pretty much the last dynasty of, uh, of the Byzantine Empire um, uh, continued on that's that's what the flag they changed it to um, each symbol means something I really don't remember I'm sure someone's going to tell, uh, say in the comments. Anyway, let's get going right now. Um, so we're here in 38. So this is a very symbolic year. Um, for those who know, uh, it's and for those who don't, it's pretty much uh, when Germany starts to really uh, push heavy and push hard on their foreign policy. Uh, more specifically towards Austria, uh, Czechoslovakia, and uh, eventually Poland in 39. So yeah, this is going to be a pretty... Uh, this should be a heavy year as far as uh, what they have to go through. Hold on one second, folks. Sorry about that, folks. So, phone call. Um, so, yeah, uh, Germany should really be pushing hard on their foreign policy in this coming year. At the same time, since it is a Byzantine mod, we should also be pushing heavy and hard on our foreign policy as well. More specifically towards Bulgaria and uh, probably eventually Yugoslavia. Maybe. Um, Romania uh, also. Well, Romania might get in the way. Uh, they we they do have probably one province that we probably should capture. Um, Soviet Union as well. However, Soviets are going to be a pain in the ass just to take on at our current state. Even with our current manpower, we're probably going to have a lot of problems taking them on. Um, but I I'll, I'll, will most likely go after the Soviets as well. Um, Considering the history between the Russians and the Byzantines, the long history at this point, and the many, many raids that the uh, the pre-Russians or the Rus uh, did on the Byzantines, um, it really hasn't been uh, forgotten in the mind of the uh, of the Byzantines. Um, let's see, I can't do it. All right, so. I won't be able to do that much uh, on infantry. Okay. Are you still building it, or you guys, you guys should be all done anyway. Yeah. Yep. Okay, all of you are done. Fair enough. Uh, let's see. Let's merge. Okay, so we're getting a lot of energy. Especially from the Soviets. Yeah. And that's pretty much to support our... Uh, our energy, and which supports our uh, factories. Alright, let's... Let's actually build some uh, Mountaineers. For the purpose of defending our uh, borders, in a way. Probably should go armored one of these time, one of these days. All right, let's merge them. Promote you to lieutenant general. Okay, you're there. What I'm going to really need to do if uh, if I side with either, if I really do side with uh, either the allies or the Axis, depending on what the situation is, um, then I'm going to need. Uh, to build 
quite a bit of troops. Either way, I'm even if I'm going to go after Soviets, I'm still going to need to build quite a number of troops. Uh, so with that, um, it's not going to be fun. <laughs> Actually, it is. Usually, making troops is the boring part, but it's the necessary part. Um, but if I'm really going to go after if the Germans are going to go after me, um, if everything goes off as normal, I'm definitely going to need a lot of troops here uh, in what was uh, pretty much parts of Serbia and Macedonia and Albania. Sorry about the folks, I have... Uh, I mean, some food as well. I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> um, and also, I wouldn't count out the Italians either. Um, if one thing that history has shown, especially when it comes to the Byzantine Empire, one really shouldn't trust the Italians. Italians after all, are the most untrustworthy of them all, of all members of the West. So we, so I'll keep my real, I, I'm going to really keep my eye out on the Italians. All right, so renewing the empire, given a, a speech given today by the Patriarch Benjamin I in De Grasse Square, called for the, the reuniting the empire of the Romans. <laughs> this speech has uh, inflamed Orthodox followers across the empire into demanding the return of the Holy Ram, Holy Ram, Holy Land, and Iraq. <laughs> the British and Iraqi governments has already lodged protests with our government. So we, we can only choose one option, and that's for the empire. And you can see the massive cores that we will uh, gain in that process. So here's the cores we gain. Uh, more cores on the uh, on Yugoslavia. Sadly, it bypasses this part. I guess uh, Hammerfall forgot to put that in, or he didn't really bother to do so. However, um, probably the next time I get around to it, I will edit the cores in for these four provinces. Um, but we have cores on southern, pretty much Serbia. That is Serbia right there, and uh, but uh, and parts of uh, Croatia. But I'll leave uh, everybody else alone. At least in parts of Yugoslavia. And the only way we, we the only way we're going to be able to capture Belgrade is if uh, we annex the entire um, Yugoslav country. Problem in doing that is is that their uh, independence is guaranteed by the French and the Romanians. If I declare war on the French, well, this happens. <laughs> everybody comes after me. Now, if I, and if they don't, okay, I staved off a yeah, heavy blow on my foreign policy. Okay, but the Romanians, they could be a, a pain in the ass. We have high relations with the Romanians. I'm not going to really push for it. So I'm going to probably leave that issue alone for right now. However, Iraq is a different issue. Actually, it's, it's the same issue. What am I saying? Uh, they're all they're in the party allies as well. So uh, this actually gives me kind of a shift towards probably aligning with the Axis powers now. Uh, so we will have to see what goes on, folks. That's kind of a kind of the little twist that we have there. All right. I thought you would thought you already had this issue fixed. Come on here. So we'll. Alright, so we got two here. Uh, Plow those two. And then. Okay, so we got that going. Not too bad. Gain a little bit of money. Ooh, and here we go, folks. Germany has 
NX Austria. Here comes that foreign policy I was talking about. And hopefully they push hard. And if that's the case, then who knows what's going to happen with us. Hmm. Hopefully we won't have. Hopefully we won't have to struggle struggle this time as I as I did in my previous LPs. <coughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Tactical bombers. We can only go for the improved and the vickers. Armstrong would actually be obsolete. Huh. That sucks. I haven't had a chance to build that yet. Anyway. Fine. Alright, industry. Let's go. Her. Not giving much an option there, are you? Only the Imperial Petroleum, huh? Fine. Alright, all skill three. Alright, let's do that. That's fine. Alright, let's see, folks. Do, 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 do. As it's auto saving, I'm hoping it's auto saving. Or someone's releasing a nation. Oh, please don't freeze. Just released a goddamn nation. Thank you. So is Japan <laughs> released a nation? I hate when it does that. It takes forever just to release it. It's like shit. Just release it already. But uh, what's the what's okay? So release my. Maguko, alright. Which is Outer Mongolia. So, here's here's what it looks like. Mongolia has all these as cores. Quite interesting. Figured they would have also had that, but whatever. Not my concern. Not my concern. I think State China's getting their asses kicked. Well, kind of. Okay, Agam chemistry is uh, it's good to go. Yeah, and you can see here, uh, Republican Spain actually has a core on Gibraltar. Previous patches, they did not. I think that was added in, I think, the 1.3 patch, if I remember correctly. Alright, so let's go. Well, let's actually go one more. Continue to grow our manpower. As you can see, it's kind of needed this point. Alright, so our non-aggression pact with the Bulgaria is expired. So, you know what that means, folks. Possible war with Bulgaria. That's not going to be good. Uh, come on. There. Bring it down a little bit. Alright, so wait until 1939 for those? Oh, where's the first set? Ah, oh, there we go. I was wondering when the first set's gonna arrive. Let's see. Let's actually, deploy you right there. Have that combine. Up, promote you. It's almost a waste. Well, what's the region in this part of Bulgaria? Urban or mountain? Mountain. Okay. All right. So let's deploy three there. Moat. Put two there and combine. Alright. I definitely need to get more infantry though. That's kind of needed as well. Alright. At this point, actually, I should. Do more focus on my regular infantry. So after the next round, let's see. 
think Mountaineers would be good for defense because most of the Byzantine territory right now is just mountains and hills. Kind of safe. Hopefully I won't have to worry too much about the British. Unless they come after me for some reason. And if the Italians come after me, then that's pretty much set for me to go to the Allies. Because uh, if that's the case, then the Italians will most likely join the uh, join the Germans anyway. All right, so now we got a great carrier, which doesn't mean crap at this point because uh, everybody else is ahead of us, or most of us, most of them are ahead of us. You can see I don't have too much money uh, being sent because we're not gaining that much money in the first place. Let's see. So after this round on October, October six, really. I'll probably just be, uh, maybe just get infantry and uh, some armor. Definitely need to get uh, some troops over here as well. Uh, you can't really trust Soviets. That's for sure. Then again, our relations are higher with, with the Soviets than they are with the Italians anyway, so... Uh, uh, kind of an... Uh, pickle here. Hmm. Should be interesting. Alright. And you got the Persians here, which again, has been the uh, traditional enemy of not only the Romans, but of the uh, Byzantines throughout pretty much the entire history. <laughs> or at least a good portion of it since the Romans expanded out to, uh, to the east. Let's see. What am I going to do with you? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm trying to think. Looks like there's quite a bit of troops there. Wish I could get Bulgaria as part of my claim. That'd be cool. But no, they claim uh, some of our territories, but we don't claim some of theirs. That's crap. And even we go as far as to here, it's just crap. So if we, I might have to edit that in here too. I'm considering uh, since the history of the Byzantines and the Bulgarians, it's been. Uh, back and forth almost until the Ottomans came in and just said screw you both. Uh, and there's a purpose for this. Maybe it'll show up. I don't know. <coughs> I'm still prepared for that event to come up. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it all. Her. Let's see, let's see, let's see. More auto saving. Okay, we're almost there to the end of the year. Gotta get the deep logistics as well soon. So at least my uh, supplies are getting getting from point A to point B. Let's see. And you can see here the different types uh, be between the uh, army units. You can see the infantry sucks at blizzard attacks, and even at blizzard at snow attacks. Uh, the snow defense is pretty much neutral. Frozen defense is high, so they kind of there's a kind of an advantage for defense in the snow than it is in offense. Uh, as compared to the mountain infantry, in which they're slightly better <laughs> at blizzard attacks and snow attacks than the infantry, but uh, still should be avoided, or at least try to avoid it. Um, but their defense is a lot higher in snow and frozen. 
and nobody really has a rain defense. Uh, rain attack all the way across the board is pretty much uh, can't be compared. Hill attack, of course, mountain infantry you can see here is 35% and 60% defense. So it, it's kind of uh, kind of important to kind of follow this a little bit. You can see the mountain infantry right here get, does have a much a bigger advantage than say armored units in the mountain attacks. Let's see. Paratroopers got a are slightly higher. Huh. That's for everybody though. Okay. Anyway, uh, here's the uh, naval modifiers as well, and the aircraft modifiers. Just something I kind of forgot to show you. Here's some. Uh, here's the statistics as well. Aircraft. Here's the land commanders. So, kind of cool. I know I showed you this. Showed you that even showed you that. You can see transports, 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 and transports. Yeah. Not very exciting for naval maintenance. Or even my aircraft, Jesus. Ew, that's lacking. Alright, so I've got 42 total. We've got 8 mountaineers, 27 infantry, 6 cav, 1 HQ. Fair enough. Let's see. And you can see a nice little uh, fight between the Chinese and Japanese. Let's see history. I was here for a reason. What was I here for? Oh, that's right. Oh, that's Air Force. The one Air Force. Ah, you can see here we're getting a little high. We're almost catching up with the French, folks. We're almost with the French on a uh, as far as the total. That is great. So. We wouldn't have to worry about too much about the Germans, right? Right? <laughs> anyway, um, even the Italians were almost. Well, we could probably fight against the Italians. Let's see with their navy. Who's got the high? Yeah, of course, Britain and U.S. would have the bigger navy. Uh, at least we're, at least we're in the top. Uh, what twenty or so? Uh, 30 maybe. I'm not counting. I'm just guessing. Uh, do, 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 do. So Germany. Okay. Where's the Italians at? Where are the Italians at? I know you're here somewhere, Italy. Oh, there you are. You're, you're actually higher than Germany. Huh. As you should be, because there's there's good reasons for it. Especially the colonies in Africa. Alright. Uh, I don't know why I even said that. Uh, they got no carriers. That's going to be a disadvantage if they go to war especially with the five carriers that the British have and the four carriers that the US have that's going to be dangerous for uh, the Italians uh... Air Force uh, not too much, uh, we're not that far behind either not really I can crank out those aircraft like no other alright so we're, we're not we're not doing too badly. Not really. We're just not really ready to go up against really anybody on offense for. Not yet. Alright. So let's see, what can we do? Looks like look at the Japanese go. Jesus. And you can see Australia has a different, has a whole, is very different from what they were in the Kaiser Rec mod, of course. I mean, that goes with the, every other country as well. Just something I probably, probably should have just pointed out a long time ago, but oh well. Uh, okay, but I'm, I'm, I know you guys weren't. I know you guys are not stupid to recognize the differences. It's just kind of cool the different color schemes that, uh, that each mod uses. I think the Byzantines, however, should probably they probably should have modified a color into it, in which made it probably purple looking or um, or slightly. No, I wouldn't say red either. 
if you guys play the uh, Victoria 2 or even Victoria 1, in which, uh, in which Victoria 1 they would mod uh, the Byzantines in which the way the color is kind of, even that's kind of off. But it's not like it's uh, Europa 3, like purple looking, which, eh, kind of a shame. Anyway, let's deploy you there. Let's get rid of you. All right, move you. Three there. Mountain, mountain. Ah, okay. There we go. Almost all mountain. I thought I had a mountain down here. Nope. Okay, fair enough. All right, so we'll get rid of one. Well, not get rid of one, but leave one there. Okay, so I have 30, that would be, that's 38 I see. I want to, that's 6, thinking, how do I want to do this? Let's go th three infantry if we can. How many can I get? Forty-nine. Ugh. Okay. All right. I think I know what I'm gonna do now. Let's do three infantry with a serial of five or seven, not five. Seven. The light armor is slightly better than the regular armor in this case. Oh, I'm not actually looking at Calvary too. Actually, it kind of is. Huh, okay. And then we'll... Well, I can't do two, can I? Shoot. Do it. Do like a 14 serial or whatever. I'll probably fix. Probably that will definitely be changed. Just trying to get something going with uh, with my army here. Uh, all right. That should be good enough. Let's. I get some more resources and two upgrades. That uh, should be good. There we go. Okay, so South Africa went to the right this time, and the uh, in the elections. So they're socially conservative now. Huh. Okay, market liberal for Britain. I think the United States is, yep, they're social liberal. And these are, I, I do believe, are used in European terms of liberalism. Uh, market liberals, social liberals, and social democrats and all that. See, social democrats as far as uh, Scandinavia, except for market liberal for Finland, which is quite interesting. Uh, and Finland would actually be, will shift as far as government goes. Okay, and Social Democrat in Denmark. But uh, definitely in Finland, that's going to shift. Uh, and that's going to shift more towards the right. Now I'm talking about politics in the game. How fun is it? How exciting is that, folks? I'm talking about politics in the game. Then again, it is a mm, social. It is pretty much a political. Less emphasis on political and uh, more uh, military. Ah, uh, got a work strike. Damn it! Son of a bitch! Oh man, that's gonna hurt. 
Hate that. It's gonna take a while, isn't it? Oh, that's gonna piss me off. That's gonna take me off. Alright. As long as we still got supply, we're not gonna be hurting too much on the descent. Um, if that descent gets any lower than well, what I hope it will be, and we still have enough supply, I'm gonna shift it back to supply and see if I can decrease the descent from there. Very nice. Very nice looking in French Cat Vietnam, of course. That little pain in the ass, uh, Khmer Rouge. That will show up in Cambodia. I don't know why. That was just a random tet. I, I wasn't thinking on that one. I was just out of it. Just saying random stuff. Uh, what was it? It was the Khmer. That's right. In Europa 3. That was, it's kind of weird seeing that. It's amazing how much different uh, Europa is to Hearts of Iron. I mean, same game, just different way of doing it. It's <sighs> now I'm just talking out of my ass. Trying to figure something out. Alright, um... Let's go... We're in 38. Let's go Mass Assault right now. Gives us a boost and land morale. And, uh... Also a counter-attack chance. 36 HQ would be obsolete, and but the HQ speed would increase, and the infantry cost goes down. Which is very beneficial. At least I think it is. Alright. Alright, come on. We're almost to... 39. And you can see... You can see the changes here in uh, Czechoslovakia. Okay, so let's wrap it up for right now. Um, we got claims on, Sur on Yugoslavia right now. We got claims on uh, Romania and also on Iraq. And even uh, what is present day Israel and Jordan. Very nice. So technically, Trans Jordan is actually Trans Jordan in this game. That's what it's that region's called. Um, so we'll probably be either pushing for that. I don't know, we'll see what happens when that time comes. Alright, our descent is getting much lower, which is great. So February 16th, okay. Okay, I can't do anything just yet. Let's actually do this for right now. Alright, I can deploy those. Sweet. Let's deploy them now. Almost there. 